Today's video is going to be just a little different, and if you guys haven't noticed, I am not at home currently. I'm not, I don't have my regular recording background and everything set up, or my normal computer, and the audio is going to be different, but today we are in Japan. We landed. Things were a little rough. I might tell you guys some of those stories later, but for now, I'm just going to talk to you guys about kind of what I'm looking for while I'm here, and what my kind of general idea is. And if you guys have watched some of the other videos, you'll know that this guy right here, the this is a CD promo Charizard. This is the card that I told myself I am not allowed to come home unless I have this card in my possession. Now, this card is not very expensive, really, in like raw. It's about, depending on quality, obviously, I mean, a decent copy just sold here for like 93 so we're looking 100 150 dollar range raw um maybe in the 200s for like a near mint copy like got a near mint copy 228 the interesting thing about this card this is a pretty sought after card so we'll kind of see what prices we're able to get but i'm open to picking up this card in a psa 10 as well now there are some card shops on my list that do specialize or not at least have PSA graded cards, which is not really the norm as I'm kind of figuring out over here. We'll see. So, and also you can see the prices here that would take out a decent chunk of my budget. So I might not end up doing that. I might just get a raw copy. If I end up getting raw, it doesn't have to be pristine because it's going to be a binder copy most likely. And I'll be okay with that. It's going to depend, you know, what we're able to find. So, yeah, CD Promo Charizard, we'll see how these prices vary um, here. I, I don't know if they'll be a little bit lower. Um, I know that there's some shops that uh, they're a little bit higher, like the tourist trap spots. So we're going to try to avoid those when possible. But next up, you'll see that a lot of these, I'm kind of hunting some vintage stuff, but I'm very open to modern as well. So this is the Blastoise um, CD promo. Because if I'm going to get a raw copy, it might, might be nice just to get the trio. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but this is a lot more affordable than the Charizard, obviously. It's in the 60, 70, maybe at 100 at most for like a pristine copy. And PSA 10s are going for around 300. So it'd be nice to complete that set. Then we have the, the Venusaur, same thing, CD promo even more affordable. We got recently raw prices down in the 30s in PSA 10 sub 300, like 290-ish. So um, super cool card, obviously. Um, that's why I'm after them. But yeah, so vintage. Um, these are like my, my go-tos first. Then we have, so on my list, I'm interested in picking up some Paradise Dragona. Now, this should be very affordable, and it should be at or below MSRP, depending on where we go, most likely at MSRP. I don't know if I'll be picking up some from the Pokemon Center or other shops. Just don't know quite yet, but I just want some boxes to open, some to keep sealed, so, um, and it's not only Paradise Dragona and stuff. I'm, I'll be open to whatever kind of comes my way, but in the $30 range, which is like MSRP, it would be nice to pick up a few of these boxes. And the newest sets are usually the most readily available and the cheapest. So um, that would be nice. I'm also open to, we've talked about this card recently, uh, this Executor. I'm open to picking this up in Japanese. Um, probably raw, obviously. I don't think they're going to have graded copies uh, here yet. But this is just eBay sales in the $30 range. If I just really like this card. It's kind of grown on me a lot. And the Japanese cards usually pop a lot more, so I wouldn't mind picking this this card up. Um, if it was in the twenty dollar range, somewhere in that range, hopefully lower. I don't know. It's going to depend. Like I just don't know what the market here is yet for this. Like I'm assuming that they should be lower than these prices, but this is the newest set. I don't know how many like loose copies are going to be in stores yet. So just something I'm keeping my eye open for. Then we have um, Stellar Miracle which is Stellar Crown. Um, same thing for this, just some boxes to open. Um, 
should be able to pick these up at MSRP as well, which would be in the $30 range. So that would be nice. A few to open, a few to keep sealed. Um, nothing too crazy. Just just some cheap cheap boxes to open, essentially. And then same thing, I'm I'm open to the Tarapagos in Japanese. Uh, if it presents itself, I'm not looking to spend $70, you know, uh, equivalent on it. Uh, it would have to be lower than that. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this card is a lot more available and easy to come by since the set's been out longer. So we'll see. It's just, this is not, these uh, Tropagos and Executor are not must-haves by any means. They're just like, if I see them and they happen to be cheap. Um, I'm also open to this card. We've talked about this. Um, Stellar Miracle. This one should be really cheap. Uh, the Hydrapple um, SIR. Um, it's a SAR here, but um, same thing. This would this should be very affordable. So just if I happen to see it, um, something I'm willing to pick up just because I don't have it in English and you know just have some cards to remember the trip by, um, and it helps also with um, Stellar Stellar Crown and or sorry Stellar Miracle and Paradise Dragona. Um, it helps me remember like kind of when the trip was because these are the sets that came out. So um, that's another reason uh, why I'm wanting to get the most the most recent cards. Um, also, we're gonna go back to some vintage here. We have the Gyarados, uh, my favorite Pokemon. So obviously got to keep my eye open for um, a Gyarados. Should be very affordable. Um, I mean, look at these prices. I mean, once again, this is this is eBay pricing. So, um, but yeah, should be able to pick up a pretty clean copy. Um, probably be willing to pay a little bit above market for like a really nice, a really nice copy. So, I am open to that. Um, not looking for graded in this, but just out of curiosity. Yeah, 300 and a 10, so uh, probably raw for most of these. Um, then the Blastoise. Uh, I have the Japanese Charizard already. Uh, so if I could get the original, the Blastoise and the Venusaur as well, that could be nice. I'm open to that. Uh, once again, don't need pristine copies on these. I'm not going for 10s or anything. Um, looks like this is going in the $30 range. And with some sales up above, probably for for uh, cleaner copies. So just another thing I'm keeping my eye out for. Obviously vintage, any vintage, right? Then we have the Venusaur, like I said, same thing. Um, $30 range. I'll be interested to see uh, kind of what these are going for um, here. Like, I'm assuming that there's a premium on eBay. We'll see. Um yeah, so my my approach is, um, it's not just it's not just vintage. It's also um, I'm gonna keep my eye open for any sort of modern boxes. Um, I wouldn't mind picking up a sealed pack or two, even of some. I, I don't know. I'm keeping my trying to keep my mind open, and whatever comes our way um, should have some videos coming. Hopefully soon from here, um, I we have a full dedicated day for just for cards, but that's coming later. Uh, we're doing some other stuff, so hopefully I can sneak in some card stuff in between. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll just kind of see how that goes. But yeah, um, that is the update. I am in Japan looking for cards. Um, it's not the primary reason I came here, obviously, but um, it just happened, happened to work out that way. So um, yes, I will be open to anything that comes my way. As far as cards go, um, if you have something that you think would be cool that I didn't talk about, I mean, but there's a lot that I didn't, I, I could have, this video could have been like two hours long, honestly, if I talked about everything I, I would want, but if there's something that you guys think I should try and hone in on, let me know in the comments uh, below, but that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a face.